Welcome back to Anime Trends. Today's video will run through the synopsis of the anime film Kimetsu no Yaiba Kyodai no Kizuna, which translates to English as the bond between a brother and a sister. The film starts with Tanjiro preparing himself to bring the coal to sell to the town, but because of the terrible weather, his mom asks him to postpone his trip. However, Tanjiro insisted to go since he wanted to ensure that everyone would be full during the new year. Tanjiro then bids goodbye to his family. It was getting late when Tanjiro was going back to the mountain. Mr. Saburo stops Tanjiro as it's dangerous to walk at night. He further tells Tanjiro that the man-eating demon who existed long ago usually come out after sunset. Thus, he must not wander at night, otherwise the demon will simply devour him. The following morning, Tanjiro goes home. While he's traveling back home, he senses and smells blood. He runs toward their home and sees his family lifeless, all murdered by the demon except Nezuko. Tanjiro immediately carries Nezuko to the town to see a doctor who can help them cure her wounds. While they're on the way, Nezuko starts growling and her body changes. This makes Tanjiro lose his balance and slip from the cliff. Nezuko then starts attacking Tanjiro like she does not recognize him. Tanjiro cries and begs Nezuko to fight the demon inside her to stay human. A demon slayer, Gyo Tomiyako, rushes to rescue Tanjiro. And when Gyo is about to slash Nezuko's neck, Tanjiro swiftly pushes Nezuko to save her. Tanjiro explains that Nezuko is his sister. On the other hand, Gyu clarifies that his job is to slay vile monsters and he needs to kill Nezuko as she is no longer a human since the demon's blood already infiltrated her body. Eventually, she will eat humans just like demons do. Tanjiro begs Gyu not to kill his sister. However, Gyu needs to perform his duty as a demon slayer. He then thrusts his katana into Nezuko's heart. Tanjiro dashes to fight back Gyu and save his sister. But Gyu's speed is unmatched. Gyu swiftly immobilizes Tanjiro by striking his neck with his katana's kashira. Nezuko got mad and started attacking Gyu to avenge Tanjiro. Unfortunately, Gyu is quicker than her. Tanjiro wakes up with Nezuko beside him. Gyu instructs Tanjiro to see Sakonji Urokodaki at the foot of the Sagiri mountain. Since the sun is still up, Tanjiro hides Nezuko in a cave while creating a basket where he can put Nezuko. When the sun is about to set, he carries the basket and covers it with a cloth to protect Nezuko from the sunlight. While they are near Orokudaki's place, Tanjiro smells blood. Thinking that someone slipped or stumbled from the steep hill, Tanjiro and Nezuko rush to the shrine. But what they found out was a demon feasting on a man's body. The demon starts attacking Tanjiro while Nezuko mourns the man's death. When Tanjiro's head is about to be snapped by the demon, Nezuko runs and kicks the demon's head to save Tanjiro. Tanjiro can't believe that the demon is still alive. While Nezuko fights the demon's body, Tanjiro deals with the demon's head and extra arms. After nailing the demon's head to a tree, Tanjiro runs into the woods to help Nezuko. He shoved the demon without realizing that they were standing on a cliff. Tanjiro falls from the cliff, but Nezuko grabs his shirt and saves him. The following morning, Tanjiro meets Sakonji Urokudaki. Urokudaki then sets rules for Tanjiro to follow to kill his sister and himself if Nezuko takes innocent lives. Urokodaki then leads Tanjiro and Nezuko to the mountain to test Tanjiro's skill and see if he's fit to become a demon slayer. On his first task, Tanjiro needs to get back to Urokodaki's house from the mountain before the sun rises. Tanjiro uses his strong sense of smell to dodge the traps quickly. Meanwhile, Urokodaki is watching over Nezuko while waiting for Tanjiro to get home. Tanjiro's training continues and it gets harder and harder each day and Nezuko has fallen into a deep sleep. After the physical tests, Master Orokudaki teaches Tanjiro all 10 breaths of water forms to improve his body's ability to heal fast, activate his mind and spirit, and increase his strength. The training becomes Tanjiro's routine until Orokudaki runs out of techniques to teach him. Orokudaki then leaves Tanjiro at the mountain to see if he can master and improve everything he teaches. Then, Orokudaki shows Tanjiro a big rock. If Tanjiro can split the rock into two, Orokudaki will allow him to join the final selection. Tanjiro then started practicing and harnessing his skills alone, but after a year, he still can't cut the rock. He starts doubting his capabilities and feels he's too weak to be a demon slayer. He's discouraged and wants to quit until Sabito shows up. Sabito starts taunting Tanjiro to show him what he got. Sabito then starts charging and showing Tanjiro his skills. He then concluded that Tanjiro did not learn anything from Orokudaki, especially the total concentration breathing technique. Sabito then started guiding and training Tanjiro to ensure that Tanjiro would remember everything Orokudaki taught him. Then a cute little girl named Makomo shows up and guarantees that she'll guide Tanjiro until he can cut the rock into two. Makomo points out Tanjiro's weak points and helps him get rid of them. She even lectures Tanjiro on the essence of total concentration breathing. 
which can turn human strength as strong as the demons. After a year and a half, Tanjiro challenges Sabito. The duel ends in a snap as Tanjiro swiftly slashes Sabito's white warding mask. Sabito's surprised, yet he's happy that Tanjiro sliced his fox mask in an instant. And before they leave, Makomo congratulates Tanjiro for a job well done and asks him to avenge them. Tanjiro realizes that what he cut was not Sabito's mask, but the rock. Initially, Orokodaki doubted that Tanjiro could cut the rock in two, nor want Tanjiro to participate in the final selection because he didn't want another kid to die. Orokodaki hands a talisman mask to Tanjiro to keep him safe. Tanjiro then bids goodbye to Nezuko, promising her that he'll come back from the final selection. He then tells Orokodaki to extend his regard to Sabito and Makomo without realizing that those kids were long dead. Tanjiro arrives at Fujikasane Mountain for the Demon Slayer Corps' final selection. The mountain houses a lot of demons that were caught alive by the organization's very own slayers. The rules were set and the participants must kill the demons to survive the 7-day test task to qualify for the final selection. Tanjiro sets his master plan and starts cutting and slashing the demon's vital part, the neck, while asking them who and how to turn a demon back into a human. Tanjiro, with his Nichirin blade, is killing demons after demons. Tanjiro then sees the biggest demon held captive in Mount Fujikasane. The demon was captured by Urokodaki 47 years ago to ridicule Urokodaki and avenge himself. The demon starts violent retribution by killing and devouring all of Urokodaki's apprentices, including Sabito and Makomo. As the demon is about to eat a participant, Tanjiro immediately jumps off and slashes the demon's hand. The demon notices Tanjiro's fox mask that reminds him of Orokodaki. Tanjiro dashes to the demon to slash his neck, but the demon caught him first. He delivered a vigorous blow that knocked Tanjiro in an instant. As the demon is about to grab and devour Tanjiro, his younger brother wakes him up through a dream. He gets up and dodges the demon quickly. The demon starts stretching all his arms to catch Tanjiro, and no matter how many times Tanjiro cuts the demon's hands, they regenerate themselves. The demon stretches its arms. This allows Tanjiro to see an opening. Tanjiro immediately shifts his breathing to the total concentration breath of water technique to gather enough strength to fight back the demon. He then uses the first form water surface slash and wastes no time to slice off the demon's neck. Though the demon's head can still talk, his body quickly disintegrates. Out of 20 participants, only 5 survived. Uniforms were then distributed. The participants then chose an ore for their swords, and a Kasugai crone was assigned to them. The birds will serve as the messenger of the Demon Slayer Corps. Tanjiro comes home and sees Nezuko. Tanjiro cries and hugs Nezuko as he thinks Nezuko will never wake up. He's happy to see his younger sister alive. Orokodaki then teaches Tanjiro the types of demons he may encounter as a demon slayer, demon blood arts, and the caster demons. Orokodaki thinks that Nezuko has a blood demon art skill and that Nezuko sleeps to regain her energy. After 15 days, Haganizuka arrives to give Tanjiro his sword, which is made up of Nichiren blades, forged with scarlet crimson iron and scarlet crimson ore, which can be mined only from the high mountains. This gives the forged steel the ability to absorb sunlight, and with Tanjiro's red hair and eyes, Haganizuka thinks that the color-changing Nichiren blade will turn red, but as Tanjiro takes out the sword from its sheath, it turns out to be the most uncommon pitch black sword. While Haganizuka and Tanjiro squabble over the color-changing blade, a crow arrives. The film ends with Tanjiro's first mission as a demon slayer and his high hopes to find a cure and turn Nezuko human again.